um, the Masons are using this logo. Now this is from the Royal Arch degree. Now I think this was odd, but Mr. Thomas Nelson's publishing company was called the Royal Publishing Company before he changed it to Thomas Nelson. But I, don't, I think that's a, an accident, okay? Now remember, okay, we did the sun, we did the groves, now we have the sodomites, okay? Men with men, this is what we have, men with men. Okay, in the Royal Arch degree, three men get together and they make this symbol, okay? Now John Ankerberg has a videotape. And he didn't know what he was doing when he did it, but he did an aerial view of the men doing this royal arch little dance thing that they do, okay? The aerial view is there's the men doing it again. This is from an official Masonic book. Is this, okay, you take the snakes off, you turn it around this way, and you've got the new King James logo, okay? The Masons know exactly what this is, in, in case you forgot. Okay, now. The Richardson Monitor, you know, why would people use this logo? Richardson's Monitor of Freemasonry says, how shall I know you are a royal arch mason? By the three times three, okay? Now three times three is nine, nine is the cult number, it's six upside down, but basically, just like Pythagoras back in 300 BC, they use these symbols to communicate with one another so that one will know that they are initiate into the mystery religions, okay? So you can see it's essentially the same thing. Now here's a funny thing. Here's Pat Robertson's ad for come to his hotel and get a rest or something. Now he's got some sort of an angel here with a circle around his head, which is really the sun, sun worship. And if you put this on top of it, he's got the triquetra. Okay, now that's not all. Okay. Now, <laughs> um, there's another symbol of Royal Arch Mason. Okay, we're, we're still looking at Richardson's monitor of Freemasonry. Thrusting his hand in his bosom. You put your hand inside your shirt like this. Now this is Karl Marx. Now part of the reason I'm giving you this, it may seem like, well, why is she going off on a rabbit trail about this logo on the New King James Bible? I want to give you a grip on the conspiratorial thing. The gentleman said my shrieking conspir conspiracy theories. And I thought, well, you know, the Bible uses the word conspiracy an awful lot. And I, su I suspect there has been a conspiracy of the devil to be like the Most High, to rule the world. He said in Luke chapter 4, if thou bow down and worship me, all shall be thine. And so he, he says, I give it to whomsoever I will, if you'll bow down and worship me. And throughout history, the people who have worshipped him have gone into great power. Okay, this is Karl Marx. Now who would think that this arch-communist would be an initiate into the mystery religions? And he would be doing this logo, but there he is doing it, okay? Now where did he get that from? Okay. This is an Egyptian tomb. And I believe this is Cheops, or this is at Giza, but there's a number of them like this. This is Khufu, but he's doing this symbol. Okay, this is this thing. Okay, now basically what the symbol is, it has to do with the lion. And they believe that when you get initiated into these mystery religions, you go in a coffin, and then they raise you out, and the lion's paw pulls you out. This is from another Masonic book. It's called the lion's paw. Okay, now I was raised as a Roman Catholic. We had to do this all the time during Mass. You know, we're always sitting there going like this. And after I saw this, I said, no wonder that was, it was, that was what that was all about. Okay, now, um, look at President Hayes. Look at Franklin Pierce. I mean, it's all over the place if you'll start looking. They're communi How will I know you are a Royal Arch Mason? Okay, now what did I tell you what the Royal Arch is? Because it doesn't become important until you know who the Royal Arch is. Okay, Paul von Hindenburg in World War I. All right, from Germany. Now, Servetus, the first Unitarian. All right, this is Servetus doing this. Now, there's a, a video circulating. It's called The Forbidden Book. It's about the history of the Bible and the King James Bible. And they've got a picture of Origen in there, who is the origin of all the problems. Origen is doing this cute little thing, too. Okay? Now, let's look at this that's going on here. Remember, this is the how will I know you are. There's Karl Marx. There's this gentleman right here. I hope this is very clear. This is a, a picture of Billy Graham on the cover of one of his books. You know, why is he doing this? I'm not really sure. Okay? I don't know. And I'm not making any suggestion that he's, you know, maybe he had a, a, a tick or something. I don't know. <laughs> I like to give people the benefit of the doubt, and I hope they'll do the same thing with me. But this is a, a, a picture of the book. It's the exact same thing that that Khufu guy was doing from Egypt, you know? But do you remember, do you remember Ani Besant? who had the magazine called Lucifer, okay? okay? I'll let that absorb in for a few minutes, okay? Now, you know, why am I telling you all this? You're probably asking. Who is the Royal Arch? 
Okay, this is the Royal Arch degree. People are being initiated into it. Who is the Royal Arch? Annie Besant will tell you who the Royal Arch is. This is her book called Ethic, Esoteric Christianity. Why would she call it Christianity? She said it's through the churches that they're going to bring Lucifer worship, okay? This is what she said. His is the presence, capital P, that cheered the solitary mystics, the hunted occultists. You know, Jesus doesn't cheer the hunted occultists, you know? So this is not Jesus. Okay, the deities who are worshipped are, for the, ver for the most part, the various devils. But behind them and all these, there is the dim but glorious overarching presence. The royal arch is Lucifer, seldom or never named, but whispered of as source of all as power, such and such and so and so. Okay, that is who the presence is. The presence is the royal arch. Now, Brooks Foss Westcott, who wrote the Greek text underlying the new versions back in 1881, dedicated his book to the presence, okay? You have to know who the presence is. Led Zeppelin, the Satan worshipers, have an album called The Presence, okay? Um, there's a movie out today. It's an uh, 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 underground movie. It's called Lucifer Rising. Led Zeppelin does the um, song for this whatever thing. But Lucifer Rising is interesting because if you look at the Latin Vulgate text in Peter, you know where Peter says that the day dawn and the day star arise in your heart. When you read that in the Latin text, it said it, Lucifer Oriator. When Lucifer rises, Lucifer rising. Okay, well now we're going to come to the, the finish of this and explain to you that the presence is Lucifer, Lucifer rising. And to the Hindus, this is the Kundalini, the, the serpent going up your spine. And this center is the merger of Western transcendentalism, Eastern mysticism, and this is enlightenment, where Lucifer rises in the person. And so, do you see these new, you know, you're wondering why do these people use this, whatever. Now, this is the new smart card. I've got about three seconds here. Okay, this is the new smart card, all right? It's got the 666 uh, embossed on it. Can you see that? Why are they doing this? I don't know. But anyway, um, all the New Agers are using this. This is on the cover of the Aquarian Conspiracy. Now, in the New Age, they say, to communicate with one another, and I'll give you a quote. It says, uh, to show the 666 as often as you can. All right, so start watching for it. Some gentleman has done a whole video called Secret Sixes, some liminal embeds in the movies, and I watched this thing, and he shows how back to old westerns in 1930s, they're embedding 666s in movies and all this sort of thing because they think that they're communicating with hierarchies and other planets and all this thing. Now, these people are not well, all right? They, they, need, the, they need the Lord Jesus Christ as their savior. But, uh, I'm going to stop here, but I'm going to show you who's using this. This is uh, some dancer in New York, and that was on his costume. Okay, the Methodist Church. Who is the New King James people communicating to? What are they saying? They are saying that they include everyone. We include the women's lib. We include the liberals, the liberal Methodists, the liberal Protestants. We include the occultists. We include the, the Masons. Uh, we include the, all of these people. Here's the Methodist Church that is now using this. Now, on the cover of this magic book, you can see this. Okay, now Germany, I don't know if any of you remember, but Hitler's stanchions, they used to carry these stanchions around. And when they marched in Hitler's Germany, they carried this. And the munitions factory for all of Hitler's work was called the Krupp Werke. Okay, and this was their logo. Now, the Pentagon has taken this as their logo, the U.S. Department of Army. Now, do you still think this is the, the logo for the Trinity? I don't think so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But what they will say is, but that's what it is to them, okay? And perhaps it is, and I'm not casting aspersions on them, but I'm saying, when you move from the word, the written word, to an image, remember the Bible says, starts out in Deuteronomy or wherever, it says not to make an image of anything. We land up in the book of Revelation, they're making an image of the beast. We move from a word-based culture to an image-based culture. We give our children books that talk about, with pictures of Jesus, videos that talk about Jesus, instead of giving them the written word, then we're going to move back into the spiritual dark ages. And so I will close asking, uh, what is the source of your spiritual food? Is it the tree of knowledge proclaimed by the New Bible versions, or is it the tree of life proclaimed by the authorized King James Version, tried and tested in the fire of persecution by the martyrs, uh, because it is fed by a pure river, of the water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb.